As you all know, we are going to be talking today about our acne line, the acne line of Dermasuis. We are going to be sharing information about the key ingredients, about how you can work with the products in different types of acne, in uh, comedonal acne, non-inflammatory acne, or inflammatory acne. And we are gonna be talking about something very important, which is the mandelic acid, because I know the majority of estheticians, uh, when we go to school or we go out to school, of school, you know, we, we go out with this myth and with this, um, with this thinking that the only chemical pill uh, that is very good for acne is salicylic acid, and, and it's not like that. Uh, actually, I would, I would dare to say that you can obtain more benefit of a mandelic acid when you have an inflammatory acne. And then, yes, then later you can combine that with the salicylic acid. And that's why in our protocol for acne, we use both chemical pills. We use the salicylic acid and as well, we use the mandelic acid. But I am going to explain you how are we going to do that and how you are going to obtain um, the best benefits, okay? Um, I have two questions here. Uh, Tania Leon from Illinois and Antonia, my dear Antonia Rutherford from Miami. Okay, girls. So another very important thing is that Dermosis products are part of and free. We do not make testing animals. And uh, uh, when you work with our, our line, you are going to have the products to work in your back bar. And as well, those products, you are going to be able to recommend them and sell them to your clients. And that's something that we need to start putting, uh, we need to start getting that chip, that, that chip today on, okay? Because you are not going to get benefits of, a, of an acne treatment only in your facial room. You need the cooperation of your client. You need your client um, using the professional products at home. I mean, you can see your client once, maybe twice a month, but who is going to take care of that skin the rest of the month, the client, right? Those 28, those 29 days of the month. Uh, it's gonna be your client. So you need to educate your client and let them know how to use the product and why they need to use those products at home. Uh, you know, I, 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 I suffered of uh, acne for many years when I, I, were, I, when I was younger. And um, it was, uh, that was a, a real challenge, you know, I was trying to use a lot of over-the-counter uh, medications, over-the-counter products, try different things and crazy things that you wouldn't think of, you know, that you start applying to your face when you are desperate and when you, can, when you, can, when you want to see a difference in, in the acne in your, in your face. So finally, after many years, I learned that one thing that is uh, as well very important is what you are eating, your diet. When we are treating acne, we need to take care of what we are eating. You know, we need to reduce the cold milk, we need to reduce the cheeses, we need to, to, to reduce the carbohydrates, we need to reduce the um, desserts, you know, the sugar, refined sugar, all of that is going to get uh is going to worsen your acne it's going to get exacerbated your acne so you need to stop you know um you need to stop taking all of those um things when you are in your diet i'm going to get my video a little bit uh bigger okay and so you can see me a little better i have another question or comment here jadira sanchez from virginia thank you jadira for um, sharing with us in this day. Uh, you are going to be able to see the replay of this webinar in YouTube. If you go to YouTube and you put the keyword German Swiss, you are going to find different videos there, you know, with more information about the products. Uh, very soon, I think it's going to be this Thursday. This Thursday, we are going to have an um, online seminar about uh, chemical pills, okay? about chemical pills, so um, be aware of that. If you need an invitation, please ask for the invitation to your representative. Okay, so we have more people uh, getting on, uh, connecting. Okay, so um, what is happening right now? You know, we are going through this uh, difficult experience 
And remember, everybody is going to have a different perception, a different perception of uh, what is going on. But the whole world is, is going through this experience. So what is happening? Our businesses are closed. We cannot go you know, uh, to do a facial to anybody's home. We cannot receive anybody in our spas or in our home. So now is the moment when we need to start promoting, promoting our products for sale to our clients. You need to uh, strengthen the bond with your clients. Don't let your clients in this moment. There are a lot of people that are alone at home and you know they need this, they need this call, they need this text message, just letting them know that you are there, that you are remembering them. And that's gonna be wonderful for your clients, wonderful to, st wonderful to strengthen that bond with your clients, okay? So when we get out of this and when we are back to our business, they are not going to forget that. They are not going to forget that you were the people that were in touch all the time. Uh, the people, all of you um, that, are, that you don't know um, yet how to manage the social media, you need to start really fast learning that. I mean, like for yesterday, there are a lot of places online that uh, teach how to use social media, how to use Instagram, how to use TikTok, how to use Facebook, because this world this uh, very near future that we are going to be living, everything is going to be virtual. Everything is going to be online. You need to start activating your business online. You need to get a domain. You need to start doing uh, videos to start knowing how to do posts in Instagram. You need to start losing the fear to face the camera, to face your clients. Uh, virtually and it's something that you can do you can um, you can uh, do assessments of the of the skin of your clients virtually I mean we have FaceTime we have Skype we have zoom uh, you can use those tools to help your clients uh, with letting them know you know the skin type they have the skin condition and which products they need to use we are activating in Derma Suisse program. We have activated for quarantine now that um, you can buy some of the kits for skincare at home, for the skin routine at home for your clients. And we are going to send those kits directly to your clients. So you don't have to do the delivery. I mean, you don't have to um, take the package and, and get it to the, to the mail or anything like that. So you buy the kit and we send it directly to your clients. And that's something that's going to help you to maintain your business in these days. Okay. Um, okay. So I have another thing. I have Rosa from New York, Rosa Patino. Um, okay. Wonderful Rosa. Let's, let's, let's try. We are all uh, learning a little bit more in these days. And, you know, for those of you like, uh, that are as me that we are not so like uh, very fluently speaking English this is another challenge and this is wonderful because we all are sharing you know and we are uh, we all are learning so that's perfect uh, let's talk a little bit about the advantages and the benefits of uh, the German Swiss line when you start using our line one thing is that um, we have a chemical pills line I have them here to show to you we have five chemical pills and they are pure they are they are direct chemical pills what that means that means that we don't have mixtures we have mandelic acid we have lactic acid we have um glycolic acid 30 percent glycolic acid 40 percent and salicylic acid 15 percent uh, the other, the other, um, the other bottle is the neutralizer. The neutralizer is the uh, is the solution that you are going to need to um, to block. You are going to need that solution to, to block and to neutralize the penetration of the chemical pill in the in the in the skin. Every time you are using a chemical pill directly in the skin, you are going to to need the neutralizer. And I am talking here about Derma Swiss line. I'm not talking about any other line. Um, that's something that should be, but every line works differently, girls. So I cannot tell you about any other line and how they work. And so why I am making uh, that, um, that difference is because we have a way to apply our chemical pills 
for example, if you don't have that expertise, that amount of expertise in the application of chemical pills of e or or e, you are afraid, you know, of applying a direct chemical pill in your client and getting, you know, the skin frosted or burned. Then we have a way, we have an alternative, we have an option for you to apply that chemical pill. How is going to be that? All of our chemical pills can be mixed with the derma scrub. This is the only scrub we have in our line and it's a wonderful, fabulous scrub. You can see it here, it's like a pinkish. This scrub is made with diatomaceous earth, which is a marine fossil that is very rich in silica. And silica is wonderful to increase the firmness of the skin. Remember um, organic silicium, organic silica is what is uh, used for some doctors when they are gonna treat the, um, the cellulite, the, you know, cellulite with flaccidity. Okay, they are going to use that, um, they are going to use uh, the organic silicium. Uh, Anderson, uh, you can not, uh, I, just, I just amplify my, my, my video, the, the screen for my video, so maybe you are gonna see me better. Uh, the thing is, I have my screen, uh, I am, I'm sharing my screen with you, the, the one that is in the bottom because there is a lot of information then there that I want you to have. So that's why I have um, the screen in the bottom bigger than the video. I think you are better now. That's right. So tell me, let me know, drop me a line. Let me, let me know where are you, um, where are you connecting from? You know, which state of United States or if you are connecting from another country. Let me, all of you know, where are you connecting from? And at the end of that webinar, we can share a little bit more, um, you know, with some other questions or other kind of information that you may need, that you may need uh, from me. Um, okay, I have um, Samantha from Naples, Risarta from Miami. Uh, Bella, Bella, you don't need to raise the hand. You can only, you know, place your comment. Agnet from North Carolina. Uh, will you be making enzymatic pills for people who are scared of pills? You have it right here, Agnet. This is our enzymatic pill. We have here papain, papain, which is the enzyme from the papaya. So our, our scrub is at the same time an enzymatic scrub, okay? So this is what you can use if you have, uh, for example, this client that you are afraid of applying chemical pills and you cannot activate the scrub, you cannot massage, you cannot um, make, uh, you know, the movements with the scrub. You can apply the scrub, but you just let it set, you know, for five or, or for six minutes and you are going to have a result. You are going to have an effect in the skin because this has the papaya, the, the papaya from the papaya, okay? Uh, we have here Diane from Houston, Keisha from Georgia, Annette. Uh, oops, my bad. No, don't worry, Annette. Come on. We are, as, as I told in the beginning, we are all learning here, okay? That's, that's the bottom um, line of these webinars. We are all learning here. Okay, so I was, as I was telling you, you can mix our derma scrub with all our chemical pills with the exception of the mandelic acid. You are not going to mix the mandelic acid with our scrub. And why not? Because the mandelic acid is very mild, it's very soft, it's very friendly, you know, it's only 15%. So if you mix it with our scrub, you are going to lose, you know, the power. So it's, it's not going to be like, I mean, you can do it. Nothing, nothing bad is going to happen in the skin, but you are not going to have that strength that you need because when you mix the chemical pill with the, with the scrub, what you are going to mix is just like five drops or three drops of the chemical pill. Like for example, if you want to use the glycolic acid uh, in, a, in a client, but you are afraid of applying it directly, then you are going to get five drops of the glycolic acid and you mix it with one dose of the derma scrub and you apply it in the skin. You can activate it with the tips of your fingers or you could activate it with a fan brush and you could do these little circular movements, you know, in the skin and you go activate in the mixture and you are going to have beautiful effects. 
when you activate our dermis crop for one minute, you are going to have the effect of the microderma ration, okay? When you activate our scrub for one minute, you are going to have the effect of a microderma ration. Okay, so let's keep going. And um, Raj, I have Rachel from Philadelphia. I have Anderson from West Palm Beach. Wonderful Anderson. And Rose is asking me something um, the only one that you can combine, Rosa, the only chemical peel that you can combine with the microdermabrasion is the mandelic acid, okay? Because if you apply another chemical peel, that could be too strong after a microdermabrasion. That's a webinar, that's a seminar we teach yesterday. And uh, when you are going to combine the microdermabrasion with a chemical peel, you need to pass the microdermabrasion only one pass. And after that, you apply the mandelic acid, okay? Okay, girls, okay, boys, because we have, you know, uh, everybody here today. So let's keep going. Uh, when you start working with Derma Suisse, you are going to have a strong corporative support. You are going to have a representative, which is a person that's going to be contacting you for WhatsApp, and text message, calls, email. You know, I am not asking you to all the time answer, but try to answer, try to be in connection with that link. That's your link with our company. That's the person that you are going to, um, you know, place your orders, ask for new protocols, ask for information of new products, uh, ask for information of key ingredients, anything you may need from us, that's the person that is going to be your contact with uh, Derma Suite, okay, your representative. And um, for some of, new, some of you that are new getting in the webinars and, you know, getting in touch with Derma Suite, I want to let you know something. I, I, I always, when I teach the seminars, okay, I, I, am, the, I am the director of a training and education for the masters. I have eight years working with the company and it's been a wonderful trip. I have learned a lot. It, it's wonderful to share states in another countries. And um, I, with our products, try to start investing, try to do a smart investment is what I call it, smart investment. You know, because sometimes people ask us, I want those, you know, and then we end with a box with a fill with the best sellers of Derma Suisse. And then when they are going to do a protocol, they don't have all the products that are needed in that protocol. And they are not going to have the results that we guarantee when you follow the protocol from A to Z. Don't, don't get creative if you don't know the line, if you don't know the key ingredients, and if you don't know how to follow different steps, how to build uh, the steps in a, in, a, in a protocol, okay? So my, my, um, my suggestion is that you make a smart investment. How is that? You are going to invest your money in our products by master protocols. What are master protocols? We have a master protocol for every skin type, for every skin condition. And those master protocols comes with a cage of products that are going to be used in that protocol. So you just have to follow the protocol and you are going to get the results that we guarantee to you, okay? When you follow the whole protocol, because sometimes you are in your spa and you just have one or two or three products of us and then you are, okay, so in this step, I need the Derma C. Okay, but I don't have the Derma C. So I am going to use this another uh, vitamin C from this other company. So here is asking me for the Epifactor. I don't have the Epifactor, so let me use this other product from this other company. And then you are going to be doing a protocol that has nothing to do with the original product that we passed to you, okay? So make sure you are following the master protocols, make sure you are using all the products that you need for that product. So you can start making your investment by kits, by skin types, by skin conditions. And the first key that I suggest you uh, to start investing 
is uh, the uh, brining illuminating kit, the brining illuminating kit. Now, if you have more acne clients, then you have to go with a, a professional acne kit. You see, so you go and you buy and you make the investment in the kit that you have the more clients for that protocol, okay? Okay, so um, let's start, let's start, okay? So when we talk about um, probiotics, we all know that, you know, when you get yogurt, you are going to get some uh, bacteria in that yogurt that are going to be good for your stomach, that are going to be good for your gut, okay? And those are probiotics. Those are, is the, the life bacteria. Bacteria, good bacteria that we all need. Actually, the immune system is in our gut, girls. That's the that's the whole picture in our gut. Is the is the main uh, function of our immune system. Okay, so that's why we need the probiotics because that is going to give us the strength to fight any infection. Is going to give us um, the strength to. Uh, discard anything that does uh, that does not belong to our body and is going to make any damage okay to our body so probiotics are live bacteria and yeast that is good for us especially for our digestive digestive system and as well for um, you know to get a gut healthy healthy gut so Probiotics are often called, you know, the good bacteria because they help us get healthy. Um, okay, so now let's talk about the difference between prebiotics and probiotics. Okay, so in cosmetic, when we are talking about products to applying our face, we cannot use probiotics. Why not? Because you cannot have, you know, live bacteria in the cosmetics. Why not? Why not? because the preservatives in the formulation are used precisely for, for that, are used and are put in that uh, formulation to kill bacteria in less than five minutes, you know, even if they are good or bad bacteria. The preservatives are going to kill the bacteria in the cosmetic, in the formulation. Now, when we talk about cosmetics, what are we going to have there? We are going to have their prebiotics, you know, prebiotics, are non-living substances, are some substances that are going to be in that cosmetic and uh, is going, that substance is going to help grow microorganisms, you know, good and bad bacteria in your face. But what is gonna happen? That's, um, that's, um, that's more natural, you know, is it, the more natural approach to acne, for example. We have been trying to kill all the bacteria, all the viruses for 2000 years, and that's not possible. We are alive uh, beings, and uh, you know, as in, in the trees, you see the animals everywhere in nature. You are going to have different microorganisms that are living together, and you are going to see that in the sea, you are going to see that in the earth, you are going to see that everywhere. And we are not deception, okay? So that's why when you talk about prebiotics in cosmetic, it's so good because we are trying to go natural. We are trying to go, you know, with how we live uh, uh, as, as per nature. So um, in our new line of acne that we have uh, launched several months ago, we have prebiotics. So we are one of the uh, very few professional lines that have prebiotics in our products and which are going to be those products those are going to be the purifying cleanser which is the cleanser for acne the normalizing lotion which is the toner for acne and uh, as well the clarifying serum which is our new serum for acne okay these three products have prebiotics so they are going to have this substance okay and this substance is going to make grow all the microbiota of the skin. When you have everything growing together, they are going to balance. They are going to balance one another. So what you are making, you are going to be uh, generating a balance in your skin and you are going to have less, less breakouts, okay? You are going to diminish um, present breakouts and you are going to diminish future breakouts. 
and the line is been working girls amazing boys it's, it's been working amazing and i am the personal testimony for that i as i told you in the beginning i suffered from acne for many years and i used to have uh the hormonal acne you know more here than in the rest of the face and I started using, you know, the clarifying serum when it was a, a test. I was testing the product and I was uh, testing at the same time with a purifying cleanser and with a normalizing lotion. And people that know me, they know, you know, the change that I had in my skin. So right now I am not breaking out at all. It's unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. And I am so, so happy. That happened after, uh, like uh, two years ago, you know, we were doing the testing and everything. And, and, and yes, everything changed in my skin. So I learned that we need, we need all of that in the skin. We need that a more natural approach and more holistic approach to uh, our treatments. And another thing is remember that you cannot treat the skin of your clients like the skin is separate from the body. So as I told you in the beginning, you need to educate your client about the diet, about what they are eating. If they keep having pizza, if they keep having sodas, if they keep having you know, sugar, refined sugar, uh, desserts, that skin is not going to get better. There is no way that skin is going to be better. You know, the Italian diet, a lot of spaghettis or pastas, that's very bad for acne. So you need to take care of that if you really want to have a difference with the treatment. I think I have two questions here. Risarta is asking me, hello Risarta, how many drops you can mix dermal scrubber with glycolic acid 40%? The same as the other pills, just three or five drops Risarta. If you, if you want to apply it in the skin of your client, you know, but no having any frosting, any burning, just getting a little bit of the benefit of the acid you are going to mix three or five drops of the acid with the dermal scrub. And we have Trudy Brown uh, uh, from Connecticut, I think is Trudy. Thank you. Okay, so in the Dermal Swiss Acne line, we are going to have these in key ingredients. Okay, in the first, in the first play, we play, uh, place, we have the prebiotics. It's going to be the rye lactobacillus ferment. Okay, and that's going to be the main ingredient of these three products, the cleanser, the toner, and the serum for acne. We have licorice. I don't know if you have heard about licorice, but it's wonderful as an anti-inflammatory, and as well, it's going to be a tyrosinase inhibitor. What that means, that means that this um, key ingredient is gonna work to inhibit the um, synthesis of the tyrosinase, and the tyrosinase is the enzyme that's needed in the skin in order to generate the melanin and the melanin is what gives us the hyperpigmentation. So the less melanin you have, the less hyper, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation you are going to have. So what this means, the licorice is going to help disinflammate, anti-inflammatory for acne, and as well is going to help with the blemishes that are going to be, uh, you know, this lesion as well from the acne. So it's going to help, with the, help us with the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. We have as well the acylic acid. I love the acylic acid um, for acne. It's very antibacterial and at the same time it's going to work as well in the hyperpigmentation of acne. So it's going to help us to bring down, to fade a little bit, to clear the hyperpigmentation of acne. We have Arnica anti-inflammatory. We have horse chestnut. The horse chestnut is going to help strengthen the walls of the capillaries. So it's going to help with the, um, with the redness in the acne, you know, due to damage of the, of the stone, due to telangiectasias and all of that. We have the ivy, ivy is vasoconstrictor. So as well, it's going to help you, it's going to help us to bring down the, um, the redness. Bella, you can place your comment or your question in the chat window. And we have here, Subarna is connected from Florida, from Coral Springs. And we have Stephanie Negron. 
How long did it take me to get the acne under control, Stephanie? Many, many, many years. And you know what? Because I didn't have the information. I didn't have the knowledge that I needed in order to really see a fast uh, difference in the acne. You know, I was not eating uh, correctly. I was, I was drinking a lot of milk. I was eating a lot of cheeses, which, I, which, which you should not if you have acne. And uh, um, I was suffering from acne since I was like 18 years, 19 years old. And for many years, as I told you, for many years, I was uh, battling with that. And, uh, and then, you know, like nine years ago, when I got my, when I got 10 years ago, nine years ago, I got my license as a statistician and I went deeper and deeper and I went uh, finding more information and um, it, it makes me really passionate about what I do. I, I got into this field because of my acne and for many years I were you know, trying to investigate and trying to find out more about which ingredients or which products would be good for my skin. So, you know, I, I have tried, believe me, I have tried all. The only thing I never wanted to try was the reti, the Roaccutane or the Accutane, you know, is the oral um, pills that you take uh, with tretinoin. That's the only thing I never wanted to give a, to give a shot because I know I, I am not a fan of that. And I, I would never suggest that to any people, you know, because you have to be really careful. You could have troubles in your liver. You could suffer of depression after that. You, you could have, if you are pregnant, you could have any trouble. Of course, in order for you to get the, the, the prescription, they are going to do a lot of tests and, you know, to you um, for, so they make sure you are not pregnant and all of that. But I, I am really afraid of those kind of things. And I know there are very desperate people out there, you know, desperate with their acne, but believe me, we can help with that. We can help cleansing that skin. We can help with the diet. We can help letting them know how to take care of the hygiene in their faces and uh, using the correct products, okay? Using the correct product. This is being a miracle for the people with acne. And we have many people that are using the products and it's been great. One thing is you are not, this is not magic. You are not going to see that difference. You are not going to see that change from one day to another. You are not going to see that change in one week. You need to use the products two, three, four weeks for you to start seeing, you know, a change, for you to start seeing the results because this is going this is this is something that's going to act in your skin in the in you in the microbiota of your skin and it's going to take time so everything if you have patience and you keep doing that every single day because beauty it is a lifestyle beauty is not applying one serum one product one day a month that's not going to work girls i always tell my clients always tell everybody in the seminars products work when you apply them. If you do not apply the, the product, you are not going to see the results. So every single day you have to take this 15 minutes in the morning, this 15 minutes in the night for you to go through your routine, for you to clean your skin, tone your skin, apply the hydration, apply the uh, sun protection, and then you are going to see the results. Um, I, 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 Annette, do any of your acne product contain willow bark extract? Uh, Annette, willow bark extract is the fountain of the salicylic acid. So anything that contains salicylic acid is going to work in the same way as if you have willow bark, okay? Uh, the aspirin is as well extracted from the same uh, from the same fountain as the um, salicylic acid. They are made of the same, the willow bark. So if you have a client which is allergic to the aspirin, you should not apply the salicylic acid. 
Um, willow bark has been used for centuries to soothe irritated skin. It's both anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, clearing pores and alleviating acne and irritation. Exactly, because salicylic acid is extracted from willow bark. So anything that has salicylic acid, you are going in that direction. Is is a kind of is in a way you are using the willow bark, just for you to know. Uh, okay, so uh, we were talking about the key ingredients. So we have the horse chestnut, we have the ivy, which is going to diminish the redness of the, of the skin. We have the go to cola. The go to cola is going to aid in the blood circulation, is very healing. The go to cola is very, very healing for acne. So we have it in this formulation. It's going to help with the skin hydration and it's going to renew tissue and slow down the appearance of wrinkles as well. We have horsetail. Horsetail stimulates the skin metabolism and stimulates the connective tissue um, uh, synthesis. It's a very own healing and is hydrating. And we have the fucus. The fucus is an algae which is going to increase in many levels the hydration of the skin. It's very rich in polysaccharides, it's very rich in polyphenols, and it's going to provide antioxidant properties for these products. As well, the focus is very rich in trace elements and minerals. It contains iron, calcium, iodine, and it's going to stimulate the elasticity and the microcirculation of the skin. So uh, we are going to have all of those key ingredients in our cleanser, our toner, and uh, uh, clarifying soon. I want to talk a little bit about the toner, about the toner uh, you know, any kind of toner that we use uh, for the skin. We have in Derma Swiss two toners. We have the Dermatonic and we have the Normalizing Lotion. So the Dermatonic is the one that you can use for the rest of skins that are not uh, with acne or breakout, okay? So the Dermatonic, you are going to apply it after you cleanse your skin in the morning, after you cleanse your skin in the night. And in the middle of the day, even if you have makeup, like for example, you know, like this, you, you supply the dermatonic and it's going to refresh your skin, it's going to hydrate your skin. The more hydrated you maintain your skin, the less wrinkles you are going to have. If you have that water, you are going to have elasticity. In the dermatonic, we have vitamin C, we have cucumber, we have green tea, we have chamomile, okay? So this is a very powerful tonic lotion that at the same time is going to rebalance the pH of our skin. Now, that's the point. That's what we want, to rebalance the pH, because the more you rebalance the pH of the skin, the more healthy your barrier function is going to be, okay? So sometimes clients are like, oh, I don't need uh, this water. Just give me the cleanser, the moisturizer, the sun protection, but they don't know how important is this step in skincare routine. This is, this is the step that is going to uh, bring your skin to healthy, okay? It's going to strengthen your barrier function and your barrier function in your skin is what defends your skin from pollutants, from free radicals, from bacteria, from fungus, from viruses, and it's going to increase the hydration of the skin because the, the healthier you have your barrier function, the stronger you have the barrier function Remember, that's like the barrier, you know, it's a barrier and it's going to, um, it's going to avoid the trans epidermal water loss, okay? It's going to avoid the water from escaping your skin, from evaporating from your skin. So that's the power, that's the importance of the toner, the, the toner, you know, the tonic lotion. So for acne girls, we need more the toner. It's a very important step because we need that barrier function in the acne very strong to have less bacteria, to have less fungus, to have less anything, you know, getting into the skin. Another thing is that when you are going to recommend this product to your client, I recommend you, I suggest you to do a package, a kit like this, the cleanser, the toner, and the serum. Cleanser, toner, and the serum for acne. It's not gonna work in, if your client tell you, okay, so this month I am gonna get the cleanser, next month I am gonna get the toner, and the other month I am gonna get the serum. It's not gonna work like that, girls. These three products work 
um, in a synergistic way. They are going to potentialize one another. So you need to use the three of them at the same time. Cleanser, toner, serum. Cleanser, toner, serum. Purifying cleanser, normalizing lotion, clarifying serum, okay? Um, so let's talk a little bit now about the mandelic acid and why is this the chemical pills that Derma Suisse suggest for acne? So how I was telling in the beginning, you know, when we go to school and we study um, aesthetical, you know, we are in the aesthetical field, everybody and is, is going to say, okay, so if you have an oily skin, if you have a skin with acne, you automatically think in the salicylic acid and it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that because salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. What that means, that means that the salicylic acid is gonna, is a lipophilic acid. It's, it's an acid that is going to uh, penetrate in the skin through the oil, okay? It's going to penetrate in the skin through the oil. It's liposoluble chemical pill. So let's, let's, let's take this example. If you have a client with, you know, this papulopustular acne, nodules, uh, cysts, you know, and uh, you, um, the, the client have applied a lot of over-the-counter medicines and they have dry the skin. And this is the, the client that you can see a lot of redness in the skin. The client has very red skin, you know, because of the dehydration. Every time you see redness in a skin, that means there is dehydration in that skin. It could be any cause. It could be telangiectasias, it could be rosacea, it could be acne, it could be anything. If you see redness in the skin, there is dehydration in that skin. So um, let's say you have this acne, this client with a lot of acne, a lot of breakouts and red skin. And you are like, okay, I'm going to apply a salicylic acid. So you come and apply a salicylic acid. This acid, this chemical pill is going to be penetrating through the oil in the skin because it, it is a liposoluble chemical pill. And there is no water. There is no water to stop the penetration of the chemical pill. Every time you apply a chemical pill in the skin, the skin is going to put water because there is something bad. The skin is like, oh my God, I have something you know, penetrating. I have something damaging me. So the first thing the skin is gonna do is put water, okay? But you don't have this water in this red skin, in this skin with redness, because it is dehydrated. The chemical peel, the salicylic acid is gonna be penetrating. There is no water, so the acid is gonna keep penetrating in the skin. That's why you are gonna get the frosting. That's why you are gonna get the burning in the skin. And that's why I do not recommend applying salicylic acid in any acne client without thinking. No, we are not robots. We need to think, okay, so I have my client, I can see the oil, but I see redness. There is no water. I cannot apply a salicylic acid. I should go with what? I should go with mandelic acid, which is a very mild, a very friendly, a very soft chemical pill with a big, with a huge molecule that cannot penetrate after a certain point in the skin because of the size of the molecule. And that's why it's the best chemical pill for acne, okay? For inflammation, when you have this inflammatory acne, mandelic acid is gonna be wonderful for inflammatory acne because of that, because you are not going to be generating more inflammation. You are not going to be generating frosting. You are not going to be generating uh, burning. And that's why it's our recommendation in the acne protocol you use the mandelic acid. Okay, so the first thing you need to have, you are going to start working with our acne products is to have the master protocol for acne. I'm going to get it here. You are going to get it in some of the slides ahead. And you are gonna take a screenshot capture, a print screen, you know, you, you can, the, the important is that you have the protocol. Or you can ask your representative about the master protocols of Derma Suisse. You need to study that. You need to see which are the products that you are going to be needing 
uh, to, to be following, you know, step by, by step. So you get familiar, familiarizing with all of those products and all of, of those steps. So you really know them by heart. So you are not treating a client and you are, oh, I, I, I need to see the, the sheet my paper to see what's the next step no you need to follow that protocol by heart you need to know by that protocol by heart if that's your main client so what we do in our protocol is before instructions we are going to use the dermos crop mix with three drops of salicylic acid that's the way how we use the salicylic acid in the acne protocol in Derma Swiss. We mix the acid with the scrub and we are going to use this, that mixture as a disincrustant girls and boys. What is a disincrustant? The disincrustant is a product, is a substance, is something that you are going to apply in the skin to open the pores and soften the comedones, the blackheads. So this is our disincrustant. Derma scrub mixed with three drops of salicylic acid. So you are going to apply that in the skin with a palm brush. You are going to apply it in the whole skin. Okay, so let me get these products a little bit over here. So we are going to be talking a little bit about them. And I have here my quarantine client. He's been with me all of these days. Okay, so um, you are going to apply in the whole face, you are going to apply this mixture of the derma scrub mixed with the three drops of salicylic acid, and you are going to leave that set in the skin for 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. In that time, you are going to apply the steamer as well. But I have a very personal tip that I am going to show you after I apply the mixture of the derma scrub with the three, with the three drops of salicylic acid, I have this two by two or four by four or whenever size you have it, you can cut it with water, okay? So I get this, I'm mostly this with water and I am going to apply it everywhere over, over the face of my client, you know? I am going to apply it everywhere on top of the mixture, on top of the disincrustant. You need to cover the nose, you need to cover the chin, you need to cover the forehead, so you have you know, different, a lot of these ones with water and several, several doses with water and you are going to place them all over the face on top of the disincrustant and you are going to let it set for 10 minutes with the steamer. It's very important. So why I apply that goes with water is because the steamer is going to be giving you the heat the heat is going to dilate, the heat is going to open the pores, and the water in the gauze is going to penetrate in the follicle. Why it is that is so difficult to make distractions sometimes is because our clients are dehydrated, they don't drink water, and because they are dehydrated, this blackhead gets really stuck in the walls of the follicles, right? So when you when you add this water to the gauze and this water can get inside of the follicle, when you, after 10 minutes, when you remove all of that um, mixture, you know, the disincrustant, you are going to see all the blackheads, you know, like really out, very easy to extract. So try like that and then you let me know. You are going to have, you know, a very easy and um, very enjoyable extractions as well as, you know, it's gonna be um, uh, less uh, damage, it's gonna be less pain for your client. Okay, so we were talking about the mandelic. This is the acid that we are going to use mainly for inflammatory acne. And uh, is wonderful as well as an antibacterial, is wonderful as well for the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So it's gonna help me bring down the blemishes from acne. Okay. And it's going to happen from the since this first session. You are going to see these results from the first session. Another benefit of the mandelic acid is that, uh, I don't know, somebody raised the hand. You don't need to raise the hand. Just drop me your comment or your question here in the, um, in the chat window. Um, thank you, Annette. Thank you. Uh, so you can drop me your question there in the chat window. Okay, so another benefit, another advantage of the mandelic acid is that 
you can uh, apply it very easy and uh, you know without troubles you can apply it in ethnic skin you know Fitzpatrick C five Fitzpatrick six no troubles at all you can go ahead with the mandelic acid in those skin types with wonderful results so let's keep, keep going and uh, okay i have the question finally here keisha keisha latolari what about someone with bad melasma keisha as well mandelic is going to be wonderful for hyperpigmentation and a very bad melasma now uh we need to have very clear in our minds that you are not going to erase melasma. Melasma is a hormonal hyperpigmentation. You know, it's coming from inside and there's something that you cannot stop. It's something that is set already in those cells when they are, you know, growing. You need to work a lot with mandelic. You can work with glycolic acid. You need to work with a lot of vitamin C, uh, with retinol, you need to work with arbutin, you know, and you can work with our brightening illuminating um, kit, with our brightening illuminating protocol. That's going to be the one for hyperpigmentation, any kind of hyperpigmentation, okay? So here you can see in this, in this image that I have, I am sharing with you in the screen, you can see uh, really, you know, inflammatory acne with papules and with pustules. So here in the left, you can see that we have as well black, um, black heads, you know, and we have the papules and we have the pustules. But you can see that skin is a little pinkish, you know, it's, it's not really red, but it's a little pinkish. So this is, a, this is a, an example that if you apply in this skin, if you apply in this skin, the salicylic acid is very easy. You are going to have frosting. A little bit, don't take me wrong, a little bit of frosting, it could be good. What is going to happen after that? Frosting happens when you are burning the skin. Frosting happens in the, uh, in the, open, in the open lesions, you know, when you do extractions and after that, uh, you apply, for example, the salicylic acid or whenever, whatever the client have uh, do, sometimes clients pick the skin themselves and, you know, try to do extractions themselves. So in those lesions, you are going to have the frosting. It's like burning of the skins around the lesion. You are going to have this whitish thing when you, when you get the frosting. A little bit of frosting is fine. What is going to happen after that is the client is going to get a scab, a little scab. And this cup is going to fail, you know, off of the skin after some days. And the risk of that is that the client can, they can get hyperpigmentation after the frosting because the frosting is a damage, it's a lesion to the skin. So uh, it's a lesion to the skin. So uh, the, the client could have, could get hyperpigmentation. And you can avoid that with the use of the Epifactor, our 911. This is our medical product, the best seller of Derma Suisse. This product you need to apply to a client if you got any frosting, any burning, and you need as well the product, the client to take the product at home, Epifactor, morning, afternoon, and night, morning, afternoon, and at night, for you to avoid hyperpigmentation after a frosting, okay? So let's keep going. These two are images of, you know, inflammatory acne that I would go with the mandelic acid. So my suggestion, always go with the master protocol for acne, our German Swiss master protocol for acne. Here you can see as well inflammatory acne, the same acne master protocol. Here nodules, the same acne master protocol you know, a lot of redness in the lesions, in the nodules, in the cysts. Here, look at that, this is very inflammatory. This is nodular and cystic acne. Really, a really uh, chronic, you know, acne, very, very inflammation, a lot of inflammation here. So of course, when you receive a client for the first time like this, you need to get a cycle of antibiotics with the dermatologist. You need to send them to the dermatologist so they can, get, they can get one cycle of antibiotics and as well, you are going to treat the client, uh, you know, with the, with the um, 
with the master protocol for acne, with the acne master protocol. It's going to help you a lot in this. Um, these clients, for example, these clients need to work with the diet. That I am I mean, sure, positive, that the diet in this client is not good. They need to work in, you know, uh, the professional products at home, you know, the purifying cleanser, normalizing lotion, the clarifying serum, and as well, they are going to use the retinol. Every four nights, you are going to recommend your client the retinol. But don't, don't get crazy with that. We are going to see the, uh, the routine for home in, some, uh, in another slide. Um, so here you can see as well, nodular and cystic acne. This is acne master protocol. Go with the acne master protocol with this. You know, you do, you need to do all these extractions on, in all of these blackheads. Okay. After, after the inflammation come down, after, you know, the acne goes a little down, you know, the lesions, you have less, less breakouts and you have less inflammation and you are in some way controlling the acne, then let's say more ahead, you could apply directly the salicylic acid. But for now, go with the Acne Master Protocol. You can see here, I brought you this um, to make a differentiation. This is hormonal acne, uh, often due to PCOS. This is the polycystic ovary syndrome. You know, a lot of women suffer from polycystic or ovaries syndrome and they don't even know it and that's not nothing that's going to kill you it's just uh you know um has a, a lot of effects but in your face in your skin what is going to happen is you are going to have a lot of oil in the skin and the breakouts are going to be mainly in the chin and uh you know in this area under the mouth you are going to get uh, a lot of breakouts so for this acne, you are going to go as well with the acne master protocol, acne master protocol, okay? Okay, so let's talk about the salicylic acid. As I told you, the fountain of the salicylic acid is the same as the aspirin, which is the willow bark. And um, the, salic the salicylic acid is a liposoluble chemical pill. It's going to go through, it's going to pass through the oil in our skin. This acid is very strong. You are going to feel it like burning in the skin, like, like itching in the skin, everything. You are going to feel everything. But this is the most keratolytic chemical pill. What that means? Remember, the dead cells, the cells from our stratum corneum are filled with keratin, which is the protein from the skin, okay? So this chemical pill is gonna break that protein. That's why it cleans so much the skin. That, that, that's why it, it's going to clean the clogged pores because he removes a lot of dead cells. He removes a lot of the keratin that is there in the surface of the skin. You know, the keratinocytes, the dead cells, the corneocytes. This chemical pill salicylic is going to clean all of that. That's why it's so good for acne. And at the same time, it's very antibacterial. And at the same time, it's very anti-inflammatory, but it's very strong. So you need to be careful who you apply the salicylic acid. For example, I would recommend the salicylic acid for this type of acne, non-inflammatory acne. Here, you can go directly with the salicylic acid. I would say one minute, you know, you start with one minute and uh, to see, you know, how it works in the skin. Start with one minute in a non-inflammatory acne, in a comedonal acne, in a acne with a lot of blackheads, but non-inflammatory lesions. Somebody is asking me something here. Resent, how many layers can you use of glycolic acid in the protocol? Um, Resarta, we are, you are, asking me about glycolic and we are talking about mandelic and salicylic. You are only going to use one layer, no more than one layer, okay? With the mandelic, when you apply it for acne treatment, you are going to apply one layer of mandelic acid for eight minutes after the extractions. For the salicylic, if you apply the salicylic acid, I would suggest you to apply the salicylic before extractions. The only one, the only one chemical pill, the unique chemical pill that you can apply after extractions is the mandelic acid. And that's the one that we apply in our 
um, master protocol for acne, uh, we apply the Mandelic after extractions. Before extractions, the three drops of salicylic acid. After extractions, the Mandelic acid directly onto the skin. So if I have this client, which is a non-inflammatory acne, then I would apply before extractions the salicylic acid directly one minute okay if i don't see redness be careful with that if you see redness in the skin do not apply the salicylic acid directly because you're going to burn the skin okay so in this acne you would apply the salicylic acid one minute and after that you can remove it and you can apply a little bit of steamer okay never the steamer on top of the salicylic no no you are not going to do that you will remove the salicylic and then you would play the steamer or not steamer at, at all and you go ahead with the extractions okay after extractions you are not going to apply the mandelic acid if you apply the salicylic directly in a comedonal acne in a non-inflammatory acne then you are not going to apply the mandelic after extraction because that's going to be too much for the skin okay in a skin with acne that you apply a salicylic and you made extractions and the skin is completely red red after you know all of those extractions you cannot apply a mandelic because you are going to irritate and it's going, it's going to be too much for the skin uh, here you can see as well, and this is a non-inflammatory acne. This is a comedonal acne. And you can see this is a Fitzpatrick. It could be a Fitzpatrick 4, okay, uh, for this person. This could be a Fitzpatrick between 4 and 5. And uh, you could apply one minute of the salicylic acid if you have this, or you could go ahead with the acne master protocol and follow all the master, uh, acne master protocol complete. I have more questions here. Ariana Franco is asking me, I noticed that a lot of the Derma Swiss acne line ingredients are very beneficial. Could you cross use some of these products to help with rosacea as well? Totally, Ariana. I'm very happy that you made that question because the clarifying serum, you can use it for papulopustular rosacea. You know, is that rosacea? Uh, where you see the really red cheeks, but as well, you have these little red dots, you know, that they, they seem like papules or pustules. In that rosacea, you are going to apply in the night the clarifying serum as well. It's going to be wonderful because in that rosacea, we have a, we have irritation in the microbiota of the skin. We have the, we have the acaro, we have the, the mite, I'm sorry, I'm mixing Spanish and English. We have the mite, which is the Demodex folliculorum. And you could have some bacteria as well, you know, and it's not mainly, the trouble is not mainly bacterial in the rosacea, it's mainly the mite, but it could, you know, happen some mixture of those. So it would be wonderful the use of the clarifying serum for papulopustula rosacea in the nights as well. You can, you can have a skin with rosacea, but you need to um, determine if you have a dry skin with, ros with rosacea or if you have an oily skin with rosacea. If the skin is oily, you could apply as well the purifying cleanser and the normalizing lotion in that rosacea. And that's perfect. Wonderful question, Ariana. Thank you so much for that. Um, have what is the expiration on a prefact on a prefactor professional size bottle? Okay, so any product that you buy, you know, any cosmetic product, any product that you buy for skincare, you have two years, two years of use. After two years, you should no longer be using that product. And why do people develop nodules? Nodules are very inflammatory acne. And, you know, that's in the first place, it could be Ariana genetic. That's the first reason of acne. It could be hormonal. It could be that they are not following a very good diet and they are developing more inflammation. If you have inflammation inside, you are going to have uh, usually this really bad acne, inflammating, inflammation acne, inflammatory acne. And uh, sometimes it's because they are not taking care of their acne. So they go to the next, uh, they develop uh, acne to the next step, no, no, which is nodular and cystic acne. Um, 
when you have a, an acne, very inflammatory acne, there is one thing, there are two things actually that you could uh, make, you know, to go the extra mile with that client. And that extra mile is using cold. It could be, um, it could be ice at home. And in our treatments, in our facial treatments, I recommend our frozen gloves. You know, we, we are selling now these frozen globes. These uh, globes are filled completely with little, these little um, tiny circular things inside. And you are going to maintain these ones in the freezer every time they have to be, you know, frozen. And uh, when you finish at the end, after you remove the mask for acne and everything, you are going to apply the frozen globes. And you are, you know, you can apply it in the neck and you can apply it in the skin and you will, you know, do it like this. Uh, remember, we are selling this and we have it for $40. And both, the pair. So, you know, and, oh, this is really cold. It's going to be wonderful for inflammatory acne. It's wonderful to uh, diminish the amount of oil secreted by the glands okay because the cold is going to help with all of that it's going to help uh, tighten the pores it's going to help bring down inflammation it it increases the firmness of the skin so for us it's a wonderful you could have i always have them in the freezer so if i am cooking i am in the kitchen and i am cooking i, I cook a lot so in the nights i go and in why I'm, I am waiting for my rice or, you know, anything to be done. I am, you know, meanwhile working in my face with the frozen gloves. And this is going to help a lot with the firmness of your skin in the ear, in the, in the neck. You can work it a lot. So you can work with the frozen gloves in the acne treatment when you finish, after you remove the mask and you finish everything. So you work and work with the cold is going to be very benef bene bene beneficial for your client and uh, another thing you could do is to apply the blue led light okay the blue led light is that, that extra mile is going to give you is going to give you more benefits anti-acne benefits um Ariana, after the seminar, I think I need some frozen gloves. I think, Ariana, we all need the frozen gloves. Okay, so go contacting already your representative to send you those frozen gloves. Uh, it, I, I, I know even there is some protocols, you know, it have been some protocols with cold for the breast in women you, to help tighten the breast and to help, you know, firm this area for us. So it's, it's, it's really good. Um, how many layers? Annette Drury is asking me, do you have a small frozen gloves for the eyes? What do you recommend to clean those frozen gloves? It's, it's Annette, this is made of, it's, it's, it's like a crystal, it's like a plastic, so you can just, you know, cleansing maybe with a, with a disinfecting wipe, you could cleanse it, or just with water and disinfecting soap. This is, this is very easy to use. Uh, you could apply a little bit of the chastity side. If you use it with the acne client, you know, you cleanse it with your disinfecting soap and you cleanse it with a little bit of chastity side on top. And, you know, then you are going to keep using it. Remember, you are going to use it after, you know, in the end when you apply already the mask and, you know, you remove the mask and that's, that's the end. And then you are going to apply the cold. Um, I have here, perfect, and thank you. Thank you, Annette, for your question. So I have here the neutralizer. This is our solution to neutralize, to block the chemical pill from keep penetrating in the skin. The neutralizer has to be applied on top, directly on top of the chemical pills, of the Derma Swiss chemical pills. Any time, if you apply directly the chemical pill, you are going to apply the neutralizer, okay? Remember when the, with the mandelic acid is eight minutes of application after extractions, you are going to apply the mandelic acid eight minutes and after eight minutes, you are going to apply the neutralizer on top and then you are going to remove everything with plenty of water. I would love, I would really deeply love 
if you start doing the acne facial, you know, if you have acne troubles to yourself, to your, to your chat, to your children, to your people that have acne, and that you start sharing those results with us. You can send me your pictures before and after. Please remember to always take pictures of your clients before and after when you are doing a treatment. And then in the next session, before and after, because those pictures are gonna talk those pictures are the sample of your work you are creating you are manifesting you know business are a way to create business are a way to manifest you are taking um you, you have this uh, vision in your mind and you are you are manifesting that vision when you are having results with your with your clients so it's very important you know those pictures to show the difference so that's going to bring you more clients. Um, I have another question here, Annette, do you or your spa do virtual consultation with your clients? So Annette, I only work with Derma Suisse all the time. I wish, I would love um, maybe to in the future have a um, spa or work or in something like that. But right now I am full, full, you know, with the seminars, teaching, everything. But yes, I, I have, you know, like two or three clients. And uh, right now I am, I, as I tell you, I don't have a business. I don't have a spa. But many of our clients are, uh, they already started with, vis uh, with visual virtual consultations. They started already in this quarantine time and you are not going to believe it. It's going to be awesome. We have spas that are buying incredible amounts of retail product right now. So they have the clients, they, they deliver the products to the clients or, or they send by mail the products to the clients so they can use the products at home in all of these days. We are not, I mean, we do not know how many days we are going to be in this. It could be 15 days, it could be one month, it could be two months, we don't know the um you know what is going to happen so you need need like for yesterday to start working from your home you need to start promoting your services from your home and this is very easy we have cameras everybody has a phone a cell phone so everybody has a camera that they can show you their skin they can tell you what's happening in your skin so you can recommend them the product to use at home and you can help them and you can educate them in the diet they need to follow like for example for acne for rosacea people please sugar you need to decrease the intake of sugar sugar is the venom sugar is the worst for the human being sugar is killing us okay so the less sugar you have the more you rejuvenate the less sugar you have the less acne you are going to have the less sugar you intake the less rosacea the less eczema the less psoriasis a lot of conditions are uh, getting worsening with the intake of sugar with the intake of carbohydrates remember carbohydrates are going to become sugar and then it's going to become oil in our fat in our body okay but everything passed by sugar first and that's going to uh, generate inflammation in our body that's going to generate glycation glycation is going to is going to generate free radicals and all of those substances are the substances that are going to be killing us those we age because of the free radicals damages so the less free radicals the less sugar the less carbohydrates the better our skin is going to be the better we are going to be okay um so it's diane is asking me can i get the acne master protocol on the website uh diane you could get it as well you could uh, drop me here your email so a representative from us is going to contact you and you are going to get it here in the some of the next slides you are going to get the um the protocol okay so here we have the residual lesions um, we have the hyperpigmentation. We have the scars from acne. This is very preventable. I mean, you could, when you work in your client, people, 
I really had a bad acne. I mean, my whole face was, was full with acne for many, many years. And um, I started uh, having cleansings, you know, with a dermatologist and uh, they, I, I, I remember it was every single month I went there to get a cleansing, a deep pore cleansing in my skin. And because of that, I have this face today with less scars. I have some scars, but not so much as I, as I could have if I didn't uh, went through all of those cleansings. So what we do worse, believe, be passionate about the aesthetical field, be passionate about what we do. We really help people. And that's the bottom line, uh, line of life, you know, to help people. So even when you receive a client like this, like you are seeing the screen right now, even when you receive a client like this, you can work. And what's going to be the treatment for this client. The treatment is going to be the micro needles. Micro needles is the best for acne scars. So you need to get that seminar if you still don't do the micro needles. And we are, we are going to have the micro needles. Uh, the next micro needles uh, seminar is going to be on Friday, Friday 17, Friday 17, 10 in the morning, Friday 17, 10 in the morning, uh, well, though, that's going to be in Spanish, but we are going to have one in English very soon. Um, okay, so here you can see more scars. You can work in that with the micro needles, amazing results. You can change forever that skin. And let's talk a little bit about the dermoscrop right now. Uh, remember I told you it has diatomaceous earth, which is deposited in marine, very rich in silica. It contains the squalene, which is extracted from green olives. It's con it contains as well the papaya leaf extract, you know, with, uh, with the papain, with this, which is the enzyme from the papaya. So the dermis group is going to help exfoliate your skin, clarify your skin, polish the skin if you activate it with the exfoliant agent. Uh, which is the diatomaceous earth is going to, you know, polish the skin and the skin is going to be brightened, the skin is going to be glowing, the skin is going to be beautiful after one application of the scrub. And here, and this is slide, please, please take a picture of this one. You have the different recipes to use the derma scrub as a desincrustant for the different skin types. For example, if you have an acneic skin or if you have an oily skin, you are going to mix the derma scrub with three drops of salicylic acid. If you have a dry or dehydrated skin, you are going to mix the derma scrub with three drops of lactic acid. And if you have a normal skin, combination skin, rosacea, you are going to mix the dermoscrop with glycosyl. Glycosyl is a gel we have with glycolic acid, 12%. Okay, it has a 12% of glycolic acid. So the glycosyl is a product that you can use at night to diminish the amount of oil in the, screen, in the skin, you know, for very oily skin, you could use the glycosyl like that. And this is the product that we usually mix with the derma scrub to do polishing in the skin. You know, you could sell these two products to your client. This is a wonderful uh, protocol for your clients at home. This is something that you can recommend them for these days in quarantine, you know, so at least once a week, they can do this polishing in their skin using the derma scrub and, uh, and the glycosyl. This mix is amazing. And um, here we have the control line, okay, purifying cleanser, cleansing, cleansing gel with the lactobacillus rye flour ferment with azelaic acid, with the licorice, arnica, horse chestnut, ivy, go to cola, horse tail, and fucus. Those key ingredients are going to be the same in the purifying cleanser, in the normalizing lotion, and the clarifying zero. Now, what's the thing? The thing is, they are going to be in different percentages in all of the three products. That's why you need to use them at the same time. Cleanser, toner, and clarifying serum. Here I have the anti-impurities complex. This is a serum that we have had for many, many years, and this was the, um, the, the first serum we have for acne, we had for acne. 
and um, is a very drying serum, okay? It's a very antiseptic complex. It contains vitamin A as well. So this one is going to prevent the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, how are we going to use the anti-impurities complex? Okay, when you are doing the protocol and you are doing the extractions, when you finish the extractions in one area, you are going to have a Q-tip. You are going to get the Q-tip with clarifying with the anti-impurities complex and you are going to go and apply the anti-impurities complex in all of those lesions that you have extracted. Okay, the anti-impurities complex should be applied spot treatment. I mean, you are not going to apply it in the whole face because it could burn the skin. It's very strong, it's very secret, it's very drying, okay? So you need to apply it only spot treatment. Another thing you could do is apply some pumps of the anti-impurities complex in the water, which you are going to be working <coughs> I'm sorry, which uh, you are going to be using for the protocol. You can place some pumps of the anti-impurities complex. This one contains salicylic acid, that's why it's very, okay, it's, it's very drying, it's, it's going to help with the disquamation of the skin, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help with the drying of that scalp. You are going to sell this product to your client and they are going to use it at home at night before the clarifying serum you know, spot treatment to dry those lesions. It contains as well IV, watercress, mira, and allantoin. So here we have the epifactor. Okay, so this is the palmitator. Here we have the epifactor. And how are you going to recommend the epifactor? Okay, so we have one moisturizer for acne, which is the coplacin serum. The coplacin serum, just, just let me do this, okay. The complacent serum is the moisturizer for acne. This one is made with collagen, okay? It contains collagen, it contains alantoin, it contains panthenol, which is very hydrating, and it contains glycoproteins. So it's gonna have, it's gonna act in the skin as an epidermal growth factor. It's gonna help repair the skin is going to help to accelerate the uh, cellular exchange. Okay, so the coplacent serum is like this, is a, is between a serum and a gel. And this is a product that you are going to apply in oily skin or acne skin. Wonderful for men. Uh, why? Because it's not sticky, it's, it's very light, and men like products like that. You know, so it's wonderful for hydration, for skin hydration for men. Now, if I have this client with this really inflammatory, very bad acne, okay, um, what I am going to do on the red skin, when you have acne, but you have the skin with a lot of redness, what I do is I recommend instead of the complacent serum, I recommend the epifactor because the epifactor is going to be a little more for the skin, it's gonna help more with the hydration, it's gonna help more with the decreasing of the redness, it's gonna help more with the regeneration of the skin and the healing of the skin. So that's why I use these two um, moisturizers for acne. I could use the complacent serum if the skin has not redness, or I recommend the Epifactor if the skin has more redness, okay? So you have here the difference in how to use those two products. Um, Diane, uh, okay. Um, here I have the, I have to write down, Diane, your, I have to write down your email so I can send it to you. And we can, you know, somebody can contact you from our company. So is MW98 at, okay. Perfect, Diane, I, I got you here. Uh, Samantha is asking me, Elizabeth, I have the client that asked me what product to use for skin that is very sensitive 
oily and some dry. So it's a combination of skin, Samantha, because if they have oily and dry, it's a combination of skin, but very sensitive. She has rosacea and get inflammation with all her dog products. She wants to use some. Okay, so for that skin, Samantha, I would recommend a gentle cleanser, which is our cleanser for sensitive skin or for dry skin, you know, with natural oils. Gentle cleanser, I would recommend for her the Dermatonic, okay? I would recommend for her the Epifactor as a moisturizer. And uh, you tell me she get inflammation and uh, yes, so Epifactor will be wonderful for hair skin as well, for sensitive, you know, combination skin. And Deborah Mora, Deborah just sent me a happy face. Thank you for that, Deborah. Samantha, she wants to use something different. Thank you. Okay, Samantha, I just answered you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Epifactor is um, is our 911. It's our medical product. You need to have it at your back bar. You need to have it for uh, retail sales in, in case, you know, some of your clients need it. It's a product that is going to be regenerative, repairing, restoring, anti-aging. It contains aloe vera, which is very healing. It contains plankton extract, which is going to be very nourishing for the skin. It contains amino acids, ferulic acid, and hyaluronic acid in a very low molecular weight. So this product is, is, a, is, a, is a marvelous product when, you know, after shave, after chemical peels, after microneedle, after waxing, after laser, after fractional radio frequency, you can always use a P-factor to calm down the skin, to diminish inflammation, to diminish redness, to regenerate the skin. It's a very fast regenerative um, product. And you know, every time when you have tissular damage, you are going to use the P factor for little burns, for little ones, for scabs, you know, it's going to prevent the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So this is the one that you cannot lack. And here I have the collagen fibers, the collagen mask. And why I am talking about the collagen mask is because we are gonna know now which masks do we recommend from Derma Suisse for acne? So the usual mask that we recommend is the purifying mask. This is the one that comes in the acne master protocol. The purifying mask is made with uh, marine silt. You have it here. It's made with marine silt and lemon. This is a hydroplastic mask. So it comes in powder. You are going to mix it with water and you are going to apply that mixture in your client face. The, um, the powder is going to be mixed with three and a half ounces of water. Three and a half ounces of water, okay? This purifying mask is wonderful for asphyxiated skin, for smokers, for acne, for breakouts of any kind. And in the bottom, you know, in the end, you can apply it to everybody. Every hydroplastic mask is going to be closed. They close over the skin and they are going to make the skin absorb all the key ingredients and all the products you have previously applied in the skin. But as well, this one is going to help detoxify. This mask helps clarify. Congested skin is going to visible, reduce the inflammation of the skin. It's going to absorb the impurities from the skin, okay? This contains romarin and lemon. And the marine silt as well but if you have this client with acne but uh with redness in the skin because the skin is really dehydrated then you are going to work a very luxurious a very luxurious pro uh, protocol with the collagen and aloe vera mask this one is going to help you know increase the hydration very deep the hydration of the skin and is going to calm the skin, disinflammate the skin, and it's going to be healing because this has aloe vera, okay? It's going to be very healing for that inflama inflammatory acne with a lot of redness. So in those cases, you go with this one if you want to uh, really have, you know, if you want to go the extra mile. This is the extra mile, collagen fiber with aloe vera. This is the extra mile, one of the extra mile for acne. 
Um, another question, let's see here. Risarta is telling me, I love Epifactor. I use it after fibroblast and it, it is a miracle product. It is Risarta, Risarta. It is a miracle product. I mean, I cannot live without Epifactor. Like for, for men, after shaving, for women, for children, everybody. Trudy is telling me, we can go back to the screen with the normalizing lotion so I can get the ingredients when you are finished. Sure, Trudy, let me go back. You know, here you have it. This is the normalizing lotion. Uh, the ingredients are the same, Trudy, that in the purifying cleanser or the clarifying zero. Okay, you have all the ingredients are the same in the three products in different concentrations though. That's going to be the difference and that's why they need to be used uh, together, the cleanser, the toner, and the clarifying serum. Oh, thank you, Trudy. And I think I have another question here. Oh, okay, no. It's, it's perfect. So we were in already, okay, girls and boys. So here we have the Acne Master Protocol. This is what you need to have. This is going to be your tool. This is going to be your triumph tool over acne, okay? The Acne Master Protocol. As you can see, we are going to start cleansing the skin with the purifying cleansing gel. After that, we are going to mix derma scrub with three drops of the salicylic acid, and we are going to apply that in the skin for 10 minutes. Remember my personal tip, cover the disincrustant mixture with the gauzes with water, and on top of that, you're going to apply the steamer for 10 minutes. After that, you are going to remove everything with plenty of water, and you are going to perform extractions, okay? Extractions, how are we going to work with distractions. You extend, open the skin, you press, you close, you go up. Remember, with these two fingers covered with your gauze or your, um, or your tissue or whatever you're using, you know, to cover your skins, uh, your fingers for distractions, open the skin, make pressure, close deep and then you go up. So you go like this because you need to do pressure from the bottom up. So you get all the complete, you know, black head. You need to get all the um, um, pustule, you know, from the inside, all of that material. So you don't left nothing inside. Laura, how can I obtain other master protocols for sensitive skin and mixed skin? Laura, with your representative, okay? Um, or if you don't have a representative, drop me your email here or your phone number. Any of you uh, that want to get more information of Derma Swiss and you don't know who's your representative, drop me here your phone number and I'm gonna have someone to call you after this. Um, okay, so after you do the instructions, you are going to apply the high frequency. You should not be doing acne uh, cleansings, acne protocols, acne services, or you know any kind of extractions if you don't have the high frequency. You really need the high frequency. And why is that? The high frequency is the device that is going to help you uh, bring down the bacteria, you know, kill the bacteria after extractions. It's going to help you close pores. It's going to bring down inflammation and it's going to cauterize the little wounds that you have made when you are doing the extractions. Those are little wounds in the skin. So you need to cauterize that and you are going to do that with the high frequency. Now, people, when you are using the high frequency, remember, it's better if you use the blue diode, the blue, you know, the blue high frequency, the one that has the blue light or purple light, wherever you want to call it, uh, with the acne or rosacea. And the tip is that you need to cover the client face with the gauze to apply the high frequency. Or if you do not want to work with the gauze, you need to apply the high frequency in three ways. Number one, you need to apply it very, you know, very close to the skin. I mean, on top of the skin, you know, you go passing the high frequency to the symphomate to bring down inflammation. Then you need to apply it with a little space between the skin. Why is that? Because remember the high frequency is going 
to generate ozone. Ozone is the O3 uh, molecule. It has three atoms of oxygen. It's very different from the oxygen. I mean, oxygen is O2, ozone is O3. And the ozone is gonna kill the bacteria. Any bacteria in the surface of the skin, the ozone is gonna kill it. But for the high frequency to generate the ozone, it needs to have this separation from the skin. And that's why sometimes people use the gauze or you can you know, um, put the gauze around the high frequency, around the diode, and then you go passing that um, on the skin. And the third way to use it is when you want to cauterize any, any, you know, any wound, the little wound that you get from the extractions, you are going to put the high frequency completely on top of the of the lesion and you're going to give a little space you know and then you leave it there and you're going to see like a little ray that's going what is going to cauterize the little wound after the high frequency we are going to apply the mandelic acid you know so you need to prepare the skin with vaseline in the corners of the eyes in the corners of the nose in the corners of the mouth you need to cover the eyes, I have it here. You need to cover the eyes with a little two by two gauze with dermatonic. So you cover the eyes and then you're going to apply the mandelic acid with a fan brush. We have the, this one that comes with the chemical peels um, kit and you, you can use the little one or you can use the middle one. So you are going to apply the mandelic acid in the whole face and you're going to leave it for eight minutes. After eight minutes, you're going to apply the neutralizer. After the neutralizer, you're going to remove everything with plenty of water, and then you are going to apply the, um, the anti-impurities complex. Remember, with acuity, anti-impurities complex, spot treatment. After the anti-impurities, you are going to apply the clarifying serum or the epifactor. It's optional. You can use either or. And after that, you are going to apply the purifying mask for 20 minutes, okay? You are going to apply this mask for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you are going to remove the mask and you are going to apply then the clarifying serum, the epifactor and sun protection. Sun protection for all of our clients. You need to protect everybody from the sun damage, okay? You need to protect everybody from the damage of the ultraviolet rays, which are going to be uh, really bad okay for um your client after a service after a facial because you we have made extractions we have made exfoliation so that skin has lost the has lost the defense so if they go out and they get you know a song they are going to get they could get blemishes so you need to avoid that with the application of the dermasun spf 50. I'm so in love with this um, with this sun protection that we have now. Remember in the beginning we have, before we have the SPF 25 and now we have the SPF 50. But this one is environment friendly. This one is not going to damage the, uh, the corals, the barriers of corals, okay? The coral barrier. So you are going to apply like this. It's going to be a little whitish, and that's because it contains zinc and titanium. The best sunscreens are the ones that contain zinc and titanium. These are minerals that are pulverized and put it in the uh, sunscreen. So you are going to be really uh, avoiding the damage of the sun when you work it like this, when you work with the NSPF. And this is 50, which is going to be a broad protection for your skin. Another thing that you should get from us is the tea tree essential oil, okay? Tea tree essential oil. Tea tree is a very natural thing and ours is very organic, is, is really, you know, um, strong. And you are going to put some drops of the tea tree essential oil in the water that you are going to use to work with your client with acne. The tea tree is a wonderful as an antibacterial and antifungal so you can work with those drops in the water okay so um okay you can see here some pictures this is the client of us that uh in very little sessions got this uh result with an acne client you can see the inflammatory acne papules pustules nodules she even had 
nodules and um, she got these wonderful um, results. And this is just only one. We have many, many happy clients with our acne line with prebiotics. So, okay, this is everything. Oh no, this is not everything. I was kidding. I have here the home care routine for acne. So take a picture of this one. This is how you are going to educate your client and let them know how they are going to use the products. Okay, uh, Laura, remember to send me your email or your phone number so I can have you. I, oh, well, if you know your representative, then she can send you the master protocols, perfect. Okay, so here for the day for acne, purifying cleanser, normalizing lotion, Coplacin or Epifactor Dermasong SPF 50. At night, purifying cleanser, normalizing lotion, anti-impudities complex, clarifying serum three nights in a row. Clarifying serum three nights in a row. And in the fourth night, they are going to, to apply the retinol. Okay, retinol, I have it here. This is our retinol-based product of Derma Suisse. This is a product that people um, misvalue, okay? How is that? Retinol is completely necessary, necessary for acne, for blemishes, for rejuvenation of the skin. The thing is you cannot overuse it. You cannot apply retinol every single night. Every product with retinol should be used or with vitamin A derivatives should be used at night. But you, are but you are going to use this product only every four nights. So three nights clarifying serum, the four night retinol. Three nights clarifying serum, the four night, the fourth night retinol. This product is going to thin the corneum stratum. It's going to diminish, help diminish the breakouts. It's going to help with the cellular exchange, with the desquamation of the dead cells, which is the problem in people with acne. The dead cells are not desquamating from the skin. They get stick to the skin. So you have another cell which is coming from the uh, lower stratums every single month and you have new cells and new cells, but these dead cells, the, all, these older cells are not desquamating from the skin. So when you have those many dead cells, those ones are clogged, are going to clog the pores and then you have the troubles with the acne. So that's why we recommend the retinol because the retinol is going to help those dead cells to disquamate from the skin and it's going to help as well to thin the corneum stratum and it's going to help with the regeneration of new cells. So every four days, every four nights, they are going to apply the retinol. Three nights clarifying serum, the four night retinol. Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't forget that. And then they are going to apply the dermal scrub with the glycosyl once every two weeks. Once every two weeks, you know, like a mask for five minutes. Here you have the acne professional kit. This is the one that we have today in promotion with a 10% discount. So it's going to be $360 for you today. Okay, the acne professional kit. You can start you know, working in yourself with the products, if you have acne, working in your kids, in your family, in your husband, if he has, you know, any acne client, any, any acne trouble. Um, if you have oily skin, you could as well use these products in your, in your oily skin. And this kit is very wonderful because it contains as well the mandelic acid, the salicylic acid, the neutralizer, cleanser, toner, clarifying serum, anti-impurities complex, it contains the Epifactor, which is our best seller. So I really love this kit for oily skin or for acne skin, okay? 10% discount today, so um, get the promotion. And here you have the Acne Essential Kit, people. This is the, um, the kit that you are going to uh, sell to your client, okay? You are going to get it for $157. And of course, for your client, uh, for today, we have the fifth, the 10%. So uh, take the advantage of the promotion uh, for the essential kits. We have all the essential kits for quarantine with the 10% discount. So um, take, the, um, 
take the benefit of all of those. Here we have the different essential kits we have with the different products that it includes and the prices. And here is another key that I want to let you know. This is the house on kit. The house on kit comes with products in retail size. And this is a wonderful um, treatment that you could do at home. And this is a wonderful kit you can sell to your clients as well. You are gonna get it for 165, you sell it for 265 to your clients. The good thing, we are going to ship it directly to your client. You don't need to deliver, you don't need to ship it, you don't need to do nothing. You buy the kit, we ship it directly to your client, okay? So take advantage of that, of that as well. Call your representative to get the master protocols. Call your representative to get the essential kits, the acne professional kit, the house song. And the house song we are going to be doing, which is the house song webinar on, I am going to let you know, that's going to be Monday 13 at 8 p.m. in the night. It's going to be like a time, you know, uh, like a relaxing time. I'm going to be doing the treatment to myself. You can do the treatment to yourself at home. And we are going to share a very uh, quality time between us. Okay. So um, this is the home routine for acne. And I think if you don't have any questions, we are all set for today. Let me know if you have any questions. So I wish you a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. I see you.